what y'all up to huh this is another chit chat y'all today is a monday it has been a very busy monday um hmm so anyway, y'all, this is another chit chat video. Y'all know how we do this. We talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. Now, I didn't write anything down. <laughs> and I fix myself, and I need to be careful with that because my body is completely off. We're gonna talk about that. Hold on, girl. Let me pull up my Hulu. I got rid of Netflix. We're gonna talk about that too. Girl. <sighs> personal life. Uh, this move has been interesting. The move is done. Girl, get over it. Just getting things in order still. Baby, we got a month left. No, no, no. We have actually like seven weeks left until Jamie starts school. So we got to start preparing stuff for school. Thank God. We don't have to buy school materials or anything like that because it's a private school. They provide all that. But I have to make sure that he has new spirit shirts and uniforms together for school to start. They start school mid-August out here. It's his particular school, I think. Anyway, um, girl... Okay, I got 30 minutes. Um, it's been interesting. I have been trying to make sure that we get our doctors in order. Look, I'm very, very proactive when it comes to stuff like that. I actually started looking for doctors while we were in Phoenix. And because Dallas is more has more diversity, um, I wanted to ensure that I get all black doctors. This is not racist. This is not being me being prejudiced. If you don't know anything about American healthcare, let me inform you, girl. Black people received a ridiculous amount of prejudice and bias um, when it comes to healthcare. Just to give you an example. I remember when I was like 24, 20, no, not even that. I was like 22, 23. I was experiencing really bad abdominal pain. I immediately went to the ER that my husband worked at. I was in the ER for six hours with another elderly woman. This particular area in Phoenix was known for senior citizens. It's Dell Webb out in Glendale. And we were there for a long time. That I was okay with. They kept hounding me with questions on whether or not I was pregnant. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? You black, you young, are you pregnant? And I'm like, no, I'm not. Finally, my husband came down from lab because my husband's a lab rat. So I, I was smart. I wanted to make sure I was there. And he was looking at the doctor like, uh huh. Keep asking me. Of course, they had to do the precautions of running these tests to make sure I wasn't pregnant, blood plan or whatever did a um, vaginal ultrasound, I believe it's what it's called, whatever. I was in so much pain. And I think I mentioned this, I think I mentioned this in the last video. Long story short, it ended up being a ovarian cyst, the size of a kiwi. I almost lost my fallopian tube. So stuff like that, stuff like I would even hear nurses whisper, she's never been pregnant. Like literally, I could, I once heard a nurse practitioner whispering with another doctor about me never being pregnant. And I was, at that time, I was like 27, 28, and they were shocked that I would never been pregnant. So I made sure that I get an all black panel of doctors. I think I already told you guys this. I do apologize if all this information is redundant, girl, but again, uh, yeah, example A. So that's going on. We finally were able to reach out to my EAP. And so my EAP was able to give me six free sessions of therapy for JB. Because baby, I had to stop doing the sessions with his previous therapist because it was like $400 a month, y'all. And then therapist was like, I understand, but Cigna is trash. <laughs> she didn't say that, but Cigna is horrible when it comes to um, insurance. And so long story short, I was able to find an EAP provider, but catch this. She, this lady was a godsend. She said, matter of fact, you could use the EAP for each one of you guys. I said, what do you mean? She said, let's say that you want him to continue it and Etna doesn't cover it for me. We could say, okay, Mrs. Denza needs EAP services. We could use yours for his. Let's say your husband, you know, perhaps need that. We could use his for JB. So she said, basically, so you good for the rest of the year. I said, thank 
Thank you, Dr. Jacobs. <laughs> so we have our first therapy session tomorrow. And I liked her because she was able to talk to me. We spoke in length for a good hour a couple of days ago. And she even gave me, and, and I like the fact that she has grandchildren. She has grandbabies. I mean, she's up there. Not necessarily, but she's experienced. Um, um, I don't like to talk a lot about my job because I want to be careful with what I say. Because you, everything can come back. Um, but yesterday was the first, no, no, not yesterday. Last week was the first time in a very long time that I actually got so upset with my job that I actually started crying. I haven't I haven't done that in like seven or eight years because I'm a G and I'm a type of person that if I can't change it if, if you know what's the point of getting upset but I was really upset but not to get into any detail but it's time to make some changes um and I don't think that they will be surprised once the changes are put in place and who knows you know maybe things will change at my job and you know things will work out but at this point I don't see it it changing on my end I just don't Besides that girl, what I'm watching on YouTube, let me tell you something. I don't know what it is, but I all of a sudden started watching all of the old, <laughs> all of the old videos with um, the Real Housewives franchise. Baby, I completely forgot about, I used to watch the Real Housewives of New York, the first season with Bethany that um i don't know what she what she is i forgot she actually has a title um kelly y'all remember crazy ass kelly and then um what is the other one that has the big eyes rolanda Rol rolanda or something child they were crazy then of course i watched the girls real housewives of atlanta real housewives of orange county i used to watch all of that stuff but after a while y'all it gets i think that the real housewives franchise has lost its peak and it's funny that I stopped watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta like years ago. But I saw some pictures recently of Phaedra. It looks like she's got her nose job, her nose done, which there's nothing wrong with that. But with the nose, nose done and the lips done and something about her, something, she's had some type of sculpture or something. Then with the long blonde blonde hair, I barely recognized her. I knew it was her because her voice and everything, but she's giving me like Kim, little Kim like type thing. So I hope everything is okay with her. I know she's on another reality show, but baby, when I tell you Phaedra knew how to read the girls down and Phaedra would do that silent calculated read with Southern uh, passive aggressive type of <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about watching those videos what else am I watching um I watched TNET for the 500 600 time baby I love that movie y'all if there's a movie I really enjoy I will watch it multiple times especially with TNET I TNET a tenant it's pronounced not TNET it's tenant I started watching the movie I bought the movie actually through YouTube and I started watching like a while back. So that's, I know I'm going through this really fast because I have something to do in like, oh, I got time. So that's what I'm really watching on YouTube. That's really not, I tried to watch some of Lovely T.I. stuff. Um, and I do like her. Um, I'm really trying to be careful with the amount of information that I'm taking in. There is so much. Let me tell you something. We're in, in times. It's not even funny. There's been so much violence and family domestic violence. Children killing, parents killing their kids. I mean, it's like almost on a daily basis. I'm hearing about family size. I think that's what it's called. Whole families being taken out. It is definitely a, a spiritual realm. There's something going on in the spiritual realm that's affecting a lot of stuff. I have a lot of um, classmates, not a lot, but too many, too, too many that are losing parents at a very young age. I think dying at 62, 63 is premature death. That is way too young to be dying. 62, 60, 61, 62. You should be living a lot longer than that. And it's sad. Um... Bray Leota died the other day. 
Uh, a lot of so I was surprised about that. Um, he wasn't necessarily old either. Not to you know get off subject like that, but just thinking of all the people that are just dying. COVID numbers are on the rise. If y'all don't sit your asses down, let me tell you something. With all of the violence that is going on, they had what Fourth of July. When I was down in Longview, when I heard when we saw on the news about that Fourth of July parade and that boy going there and killing what six people so far. I don't go anywhere. I stay my butt at home. I go to the grocery store. I go, well now we do stuff. Like, let me let me take that back. We do stuff like I'll take JB to an indoor playground at like 12 o'clock. But if someone is like, oh, uh, I don't know. Let me give you an example. Oh, we're gonna have a get together at a popular place in Dallas and there's gonna be 200 plus people there. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry, it's not being me, that's not me being paranoid, but given the climate that we're in, I'm not going to put myself and my family in that situation to where people are already crazy. Hell no, I'm staying my ass at home. So we are absolutely going out and doing stuff, but we're being careful. We really are. Y'all be careful too. COVID numbers are rising. I think I need a, a, I need a, like a fifth shot or something. <laughs> I need something, girl. Um... I just feel that way. Nothing surprises me. I hate to say that. Nothing that's going on. There, I don't even know when the last thing, the last time I really got surprised by a random act of violence was the Sandy Hook shooting. That should tell you something. Anything else that is going on is really not going to surprise me at this point. I told you guys this. I, and I'm going to tell you this again. And I'm talking to some. I, I feel like when I speak to people and we connect, a message is going to be transferred. A message, is, a message is going to be relayed. Take it. I'm not trying to go deep, but I am. I've been meeting people and they have been reiterating. You made to make sure you're getting ready, getting prepped, getting your stuff together. So, I'm telling y'all again, listen, make sure you have plenty of water, have plenty of food, have plenty of your medications that you or your family members take. Have plenty on hand. Um, I started back stockpiling the water. We have, I'm, I'm starting back doing um, food. And you don't have to go go all the way out. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I got a water purifier and crazy stuff like that. I got seeds, you know, I got, I got all types of seeds because I'm going to replant the whole earth. So that's what's going on, personal life. I know, a personal life and YouTube. Baby, what I'm watching on TV? What I'm watching on TV, girl? Let me tell you something. I started to watch on Hulu, because I got rid of Netflix. So I'm trying to save my money. I started to watch on Hulu, Shining Bell with Courtney Cox. It has like a comedy slash scary type of series. I'm on episode two. And I'm just not sure what's going on with that. Again, it's called again, it's called Shining Veil and it's on Hulu. Girl, Stranger Things. I'm not even done. But the last spoiler spoiler alert, the backstory of that Stranger Things demon thing was absolutely crazy. I was so that that gave me so much anxiety again i'm not up to the most recent episode but i did see how he became that thing in the other he was one of the um one of the kids i told you spoiler alert he was number one he was the first one and you know what that actor he's english he played in a couple of other because he has a very he's what you call a character actor he he has a very eccentric look so he's always gonna be be playing a certain type of character in a movie because he just or a series because he just has that weird ass look which is working for him um we're gonna get to it we're gonna get to it we're gonna get to it all right so i have old man on my list i told you i got rid of what's the name though i got rid of um netflix i have under the banner of heaven Hmm. Because there's so much violence and stuff going on in the world, y'all. I watched the first episode of again under the banner of heaven, and I, I I can't do it. I can't do anything else right now. It's just gonna have to be there for a while. So I have on my list though the old man with um Jeff Bridges old ass. It was why he playing the old man. Um the bear. I don't know what this about. It's about food. I'm greedy. I want to watch it. The bear watching the last man because 
I don't know. It just got a little weird. Have y'all watched that? It's called The Last Man. Have y'all watched it? It's what it looks like. Maybe I'll go back to it. Girl, let's just go jump into it. Because we, we could talk a, a good gang about this. P. P. S. Valley. Girl, let me just go ahead and pull, pull it up. P. Valley. Okay? First of all, I'm going to say this. I'm about tired of Haley and um, Obama's ass. <laughs> I'm done with Haley and um, the mayor's godson. What is his name, y'all? Andre. Haley and Andre, I'm done with their storyline. So, again, spoiler alert. Okay, well, I'm going to talk about the very last episode because I'm going to be back. Okay, girl, first of all, when I heard um, Kia, my neck, my back coming on, I'm like, oh, shit, what the hell is going on here? We got Diamond and Big Bone up here doing the damn thing. I'm like, oh, my God, Diamond, you, you, you swinging it like that? Yes, and I think that he's really, is he really in a relationship with the actress that plays Big Bone with her Miracle Watts, Miracle Watts. They're really, they're together. They're married or something in real life. Anyway, so she has a nice body. I'm like, oh, her boobs look good. Yes, come through, sis. Girl, but why he's doing her everything, you know what I mean? Um, She starts turning into Kashan. Kayshawn, he, she starts looking like Kayshawn. And he's like looking away because every time he looks at her, he sees Kayshawn, which he's mad at because, you know, things with her white savior. He's mad at her, but he still has feelings. He wants to save her. He's in that save a hoe. It is what it is. He's in that save a hoe mentality, but Kayshawn ain't really a hoe. She ain't. But she's like, uh-uh. So, baby, when they were done, she ain't gonna sit up there and say, I wanna, well, I don't know why you finishing in that. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very direct. She's like, I don't know why you finishing in that condo. I wanted you to finish in my, I'm like, oh. And basically he was like, uh, no man is gonna be spilling his seed like that. He, girl, he went deep, which there's some meaning behind that, which is true. A man should not be letting his seed go everywhere because there's some... But anyway, she was like, I'm not going to get... I don't want no baby anyway. I'm like, if you don't get your big ass... I... <laughs> her butt is out of control. I don't know if she's had work or if that's all her. But she looks good. Regardless, she looks good. Yes, big body is all that. So anyway, you know, um, Diamond, as y'all know from previous episodes, Diamond is into that hoodoo stuff. So you got to be careful. But big body was like, she's like, why you ain't working at the bank? So she was clear and she knew that he has a thing or he he is somewhere else because clearly he wasn't even looking at her while they were having sex so he his whole mind and body is somewhere else so anyway that's going on like i said i'm about done with red bone hayley and andre but finally girl finally she went ahead and let him have it so i guess they had some type of um uh what do you call it some type of event and after that she comes this is how she sounds hey andre Cause yeah, I know she's English, but she pulls off a southern accent good. She's like, hey, Andre, what do you, how do you want me, sir? He's like, take off your dress. She takes off the dress. Boom, red bone, yellow bone everywhere. And so, she's, he's like, crawl to me. She's crawling. And, girl, ten minutes later, they in it. In it, in it, in it. But I'm like, this, y'all know me. The sex scenes, it could be too much sometimes. But I'm like, we waited all these episodes for a sex scene and this is what we get this that was whack as hell i'm sorry but that was not what i was expecting for them to be because they they literally have been mind from each other for seasons and they even did phone sex and i'm like y'all have this much tension amongst you. girl please i would have been so pissed off but she seemed to be okay about it. <laughs> she seemed to be okay um we're gonna talk about little murder y'all trigger and they did put a warning up for this previous episode oh y'all real quick i just realized the girls with the big lips she played in um what's her name she played in snowfall right she was wanda in snowfall so she's doing all these type of tricks on the post she was the one that gave the boy head and now when i they when he pulled it out i thought it was a prop i thought it was a prop so I, I had to rewind it a couple of years, at times to make sure that that wasn't, and it was really, it was his penis. So anyway, lips. 
she's uh, dancing with another red bone girl. I think she's actually white. Is she white, y'all? She's dancing with her. Is her name Harper? So lips. She's dancing with this light skinned girl. And he's like, uh, who is that? He's like, you know what, hook me up with your girl. And she's like, I don't know if she's down like that. He's like, I'll pay you two stacks just to go down on her just to eat her out. I'm like, what? You gonna pay her for a treat? That's her treat. And so she was like, well, dang, I could have got that and laid on my back, but I had to get on my knees. You know what, lips? That's your problem. That's your problem. I don't trust that girl, y'all. I think something bad's gonna happen. I think she's either gonna trick old girl and that's gonna be like some and Bob, I don't want to say it too loud because YouTube. Let's get to this, y'all. Little Murder and his friend. What's his name, y'all? Like skint dude. Trey. What's his Little name? Murder and Big Teak. So sad. By the second episode that I saw, isn't that Big Teak? Big Teak. I could tell that he was suffering from PTSD. Everything about his body language. That actor that plays that guy should should get an Emmy because he's doing a damn good job. I could tell there's something was off and it was it was trauma related most PTSD is but it was trauma old trauma and was more than likely passed down trauma generational trauma which if you don't know I'm not gonna even go there that's a whole nother conversation generational trauma can actually start in the womb okay look it up baby this guy was suffering from trauma from a child and they show some bits and cl clips of it but i'm not going to go into it because i was so upset and i felt so bad for little murder but big teak ends up committing suicide and i think he came to a realization that after so much time being locked up it's really it's going to be hard for him to adjust into the new world it's going to be hard to him to adjust to little murder having a thing for um uncle clifford and so he's tired he was tired i could tell just the look in his he didn't have to say it he was tired so he had he committed suicide which is so horrible i'm not gonna get into old girls uh daughter ended up pregnant child when i saw that i was like you know what these kids i feel so bad for mercedes though y'all but I could not stop laughing when that, that scene with her and, and Coach and Coach's wife and Coach. Look, Coach's wife has a thing for Mercedes because they've already had sex, right? They were popping pocketbooks. And so why Coach is giving it to Mercedes? He noticed them really getting it in. He's like, hold up. Coach was like, hold up. I didn't know you like to eat at the seafood bar too. What are you? <laughs> Boy, Coach was upset. He was like, you all raggedy hold this. <laughs> Four stacks to do that. The wife was okay. It was supposed to be an all threesome thing, but that was supposed to be for coach. And the wife was like, all this time we've been married. I like I like women more than you do. I'm like, coach, you a dumbass. You, you, you are not with it. So he was so focused on his desires and what he liked that he was oblivious to his wife's desires. And perhaps he just didn't care, so... Y'all, I'm talking for a long time. That is it, baby. It's just a bunch of rambling. I hope you guys have a good week. Take care. Bye.